Hey, hi there Pisces. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I would like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly predictive reading for the end of November here, 2019. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Pisces, off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. The first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. The Queen of Pentacles, Pisces, this is Earth energy, can represent a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, somewhere in your chart, or someone else's. This could be you. This is someone that's being domestic. They're being practical and capable and orderly. They're generous and benevolent. This can indicate prudent uses of resources. This is someone that's protective and nurturing and resourceful and they're bountiful. They're healthy, they're a homemaker. They love gardens and growing things. She knows how to manage money and she's clever and enjoys gossip. She loves the good things in life and having acquired them, they're content to spend their own life joying them and they're satisfied when they get what they want. This can indicate help given of a practical nature, has to do with material concerns, and she teaches that what is cherished must be cared for. This is someone that puts a high value on stability. She is the part of us that revels in gardening and cooking, craft making, massaging and being massaged. They're all physical sensations that leave us feeling content and whole. She is our love of comfort and luxury yet she will still be frugal about it. Could be someone may not be showing or saying how they feel. Take some, some time to consider all your options before proceeding. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Ten of Wands, Pisces, Fire Energy. This is a feeling of being overloaded, overworked, little overwhelmed, been doing a whole lot of stuff, uh, feeling tired. You might feel oppressed. Could be your responsibility wearing you down, something you may not be able to let go of. But the problem is soon to be solved. Tens are about beginnings and endings. These are ambitious burdens. Could be a heart tried by pain. It's fortune and gain and any kind of success. And then it's the oppression of those things. It's feeling resentful and taking stock of those priorities. Could be taking up new responsibilities appropriate to the new cycle that's beginning. They may seem burdensome, but you do have the strength to shoulder them. You feel you can do anything at this time, even an extremely difficult task. Sometimes it's too much of a good thing. Or you might feel that your labor has gone for naught. Or you might be carrying burdens that don't really all belong to you. You might feel weary as if the whole world is on your shoulders, and it's up to you to decide to whether continue carrying these heavy responsibilities you've undertaken, or if other people are shirking their part and maybe they should help out. So make sure others are doing their fair share, and ask for help if you need it, and don't let pride stand in the way. Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands, this is being focused on that heavier workload. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are aware of. This can be your attitude. Here you are, Pisces, the High Priestess. Number two of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. High Priestess. This card can either be you or a Cancer. It's connected with the moon. This can represent someone that is psychic. There's also hidden influences secret knowledge. This is someone that knows exactly how they feel, and they're never lonely. These can be secrets that you keep to yourself. This is the link between the seen and the unseen. It's light and power to manifest. It's gestation before new life. It has to do with divine truth and wisdom. This is nurturing the spark of creation. It's the connection with the unconscious world and esoteric studies unrevealed future and hidden influences at work here. This 
When this card appears in a man's reading, it represents the perfect woman all men dream of. And this is you in this reading. This is honoring your inner being, its natural insight, secrets, mystery, silence, wisdom, tenacity, science. This represents the unknown. This can be a quiet woman. It's, this may be a time when it's better to sit still and seek peace within yourself. Seek awareness and be still. Listen to your inner knowledge and answer your own questions because there's something you know. The Queen of Pentacles with the High Priestess. This is someone that has healing abilities. They're very intuitive about alternative methods of healing like herbs and aromatherapy, reiki, sound, kind words. This is a loner that can see through people. And now your fourth card. This is the card of the future. It's the results, the outcome and the resolution. And being in the future position, sometimes this can be a surprise. Pisces, the king of cups, water energy. This can also be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Now this is someone that's containing their emotions. They're complex. They're intense. They're caring and sensitive. They can be a healer or a counselor. They're very composed. They're utterly trustworthy. They're relaxed and they're non-threatening. They're reliable and they have a positive outlook. They could be interested in the arts. They're a creative type. The situation is favorable, especially if it's artistic. And this is a person that you can count on them. They come through when you need them. And they are the master of emotions, and they can change their moods at will. This is working through fears that can bring us into that desirable state where we are wishlessly happy. And in love, someone may be worrying things, over-worrying things. So use good judgment and fair practices and go that extra mile. This person is the perfect diplomat, as well as the high priestesses. He shows his emotions less than he talks about them. This is being sensitive, self-possessed, compassionate, cool under pressure, gentle and trustworthy, and emotionally stable. Stable. They're responsible and discreet, self-sacrificing, very diplomatic. They have highly developed social skills. They may be very well liked. They can even be living an alternative lifestyle. They're a wonderful counselor and advisor. They're careful and empathetic and understanding and a great listener. And it's because he cares. The Queen of Pentacles with the King of Cups. This can represent a great host or hostess. This is someone that cares about how hard she works and helps out. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen It's because it's not something that you're sharing with others. And you are consciously aware of this. Number eight of the Major Arcana, Strength. This can represent a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. doesn't have to. It can just be a, one of the aspects in your chart or someone else's chart around you. It can also be the energy coming through of having courage and determination and inner strength. It's a fate card and a test of fortitude. It's becoming strong in spirit. It's moral core courage and fortitude. It's force of character and spiritual power overcoming material power. Love triumphing over hate. The higher nature over carnal desires. It's the inner strength to accept yourself and quiet confidence instead of dominance. Openness instead of determination. Gentleness can hold a greater strength. This is a person facing problems with confidence and hope. The lion symbolizes passions and anger as well as desire, and she allows them to emerge and tames the lion through love and belief in herself. You can allow negative feelings to come out in a positive way, and it tells us not to fear our emotions. There may be hidden feelings. This is strength and fortitude, and a test of fortitude. It's quiet control of oneself and others. And it's a need to bring strength from deep within and continue on in a face in the face of adversity. 
its strength of mind, its strength of mind as well as body. It could be a difficult task ahead. Someone may be focusing on all the goals at once. It's the ability to do what is needed when the time is right. It's being controlled and disciplined in times of adversity. Queen of Pentacles with the Strength card. This is the courage to be kind to yourself and let someone help out. The t High Priestess with the Ten of Wands. This is a lot of mental activity, which is exhausting. The High Priestess with the King of Cups is reading between the lines. It's knowing what they were th are thinking even when they are not showing their emotions. This is an, an attraction on many levels, even unrequited love. The High Priestess with the Strength card, this is great for business partnerships. It can also represent a lover's quarrel and love through restra restraint and being subtle. It's also a reminder that all work and no play can drain you. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Earth Magic by Stephen Farmer. Pisces, you've got River, which represents movement. River. The softened light from the sun falls upon this meandering river. The sparkles reflecting the gentle movement taking place in the river's body. She moves easily around the curves and the rocks, sometimes gently, as portrayed in this card, and sometimes quite rapidly and intensely. Still, the river's movement will always eventually land her in the bosom of Great Grandmother Ocean. Some of her water will evaporate along the way to feed the waters of the sky, just as it takes place in any other bodies of water, and bless the land and the seas with replenishment in a perfectly natural cycle that helps the planet sustain itself. Water is our lifeblood, a nutrient more essential than food. The flow of water throughout our own bodies serves as a metaphor of how life itself flows through us and expresses us. Pisces, fighting or blocking the flow of life force can lead you to feeling spiritually void and disconnected from source. Just like the metaphor of the river, it does not work to force or fight this compelling movement. When you simply pay attention and observe the flow, it becomes easier to navigate your experiences and see what lies ahead or at least get a sense of what is to come by the ever-changing geography that unfolds as you cruise along. Your resistance is hampering your ability to make a choice in this matter. Surrender to the movement of life. Be grateful and you will see the signs along the shore and in the river itself that offer you clues about what direction your egoless self is to be making. Go with the flow is more than a trite amphorism here. It is essential that you do so now. Breathe, relax, and you will know. Thanks, you guys, Pisces. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe or even say hi. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.